Last time. Sheagora, the Wabajack. Welcome, you mortal, to the Shivering Isles. I want to get in. Now that's what I'm talking about. Time to shatter the barrier to Thoron's lair. Whenever you're ready. My turn. Nerve shatter strikes true. Onward to Thorin. Thorin, Lord Shagorath's justice has come for you. Stunda. And here I thought you'd never dare to face me yourself. She isn't facing you alone. Ah, Dylora! I'm glad you're here. Now, all of that lunatic's underlings can die together. Without you in the way, I will be able to finish my work undisturbed. The Isles are not yours to toy with, Thorin. This path will only lead to your death. He said you'd say that. He said you'd try and talk me out of it. But I'm not listening to you. What? Who? Simply a benefactor, helping me bring order to this chaotic place. Not if we kill you first, Exile. Oh, I'm sure you'll do your best on that account. But my friends will see to it that you fail. I wouldn't count on it. Haven't you apostles figured out who defiled your grove? Wait. The Void Essence. Boy, it can't be! Sabotage! What? No! You sabotaged us! We found the tomatoes out the sea! Idiots! This is clearly a ruse! Pull yourselves together! I'll pull this double-crossing scum apart for defiling our laboratory! Oh, I'd like to see you try, Crystal Kisser. Oh, you witless worms. Ah, so be it. I'll kill these interlopers myself! Good, Good fucking, fucking luck! Why do we keep letting him do that? What happened? All the waters drained out of the room. Where are you? It seems Thorin fled down this way. You must pursue him. But beware of what you may find within. Right. Here I go. Welcome to my domain. This is the Well of Inversion. Here, up is down and down is up. Life is death. Chaos is order. Starter, Dynora. Kill the outsider! You have the same problem Circuit used to have before he trained. Too goddamn slow. Maybe that's what separates mortals from Daedra. Our finite lives drive us to achieve greatness. Give in. The sword! Why am I taking so much damage? Oh, he's got like a dancing weapon. I'm blinded. 
Once more, my turn. No! It was not supposed to be this way! My lord, grant me the strength to destroy this interloper! Bless me with the light of your perfect order! Ah, uh, wow. Did not see that coming. Crystallized by his own hubris. So it is done. Thorin has fallen. Seems like it. Good. Now the asylum will be safe from Thorin's threat. You're welcome. We will remember your actions here for many days to come. Take this. This helm has served me well. May it be a reminder of your valor here today. So much better than the original. And should you ever need me, simply cast this spell. My debts do not go unpaid. Dylora and I will remain here for a time. We must ensure that Thorin's corruption is fully expunged from the root. Then, we will return to New Shioth and tell the Mad God what has transpired here. Farewell, mortal. Return as you will. The Shivering Isles will always be open to you. Can't help but feel like I missed something. Huh, what an awfully conspicuous fellow. So good to see you again. And for the very first time, Theodore Gorlash. At your service. Come on, man. This disguise is terrible. Shea Gorath. Eh? Come again? I'm a wee bit deaf in this ear. Oh. Ha. Huh. Theo Gorlash, Shea Gorath. You did the same thing as Sanguine, which I should expect because you guys are buddies. Gods. How many more people are going to watch my downward spiral? Only about a dozen. Make that a baker's dozen. Hey lad, I brought the cheese dip. Why the near corgi shop? Because there's a corgi nearby, of course. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen him. Well, all right. What you got for sale, inconspicuous shopkeep? Oh, all sorts. Do let me know if you're interested in haggling. I can add your tongue to the tongue drawer. I don't think I remember what a grumite is, but it sounds something like a goblin. So what's with this amber fixation? Lovely material! Very rare, you know. I use it to carve my busts. Oh, also for weapons, armor, and other such trifles. Art just doesn't pay in today's market. Could you teach me how to smith amber? Of course I could! But you'd have to do me a favor first. There's a special piece of amber. Shaped like the face of Shea Gorath. Bring it to me. I'm down for a side quest, but why do you need it? For my next bust, of course. Uh, I couldn't carve the Mad God's face all on my lonesome. It's much too handsome for me to do it justice. You understand. Heh, <laughs> so he's just playing with us. Fine, I'll get it for you. You should search uh, the root canal. You never know what you'll find down there. So your odds aren't too bad. Of course, they aren't too good either. But let's be optimistic. So how joined up in the asylum, Mr. Gorlash? Oh, it's quite a tragedy. I used to be the most famous amber sculptor in the Shivering Isles. But an artist who upsets his patron is an artist who starves. And I upset the Mad God quite dearly. One day, the Prince of Madness handed me a chunk of amber, and he said, Theodore, you're going to take this amber and sculpt me a masterpiece. But that amber didn't have a masterpiece in it. It had something foul. And I had to choose if I was going to make a masterpiece or an abomination. So which did you choose? The latter, of course. An artist has his integrity. Well, Shea Gorath took one look at it and flew into a rage. Theodore, you handsome devil, he said. <laughs> You've really done it this time. Take that abomination to the asylum where it belongs. So here I am. Business has never been better, though. You're my very first customer. Brings me to tears every time. <laughs> I regret nothing, though. We all suffer for our art. Appreciating the artwork, are you? Mm. 
I'm currently in my amber period. Art gives life meaning. Hmm? Well, Look at that Daedric artifact just hanging out over there. Theodore Gorlash, at your service. But honestly, I already have two magic staffs, uh, one of which I don't even really need, the Wabajack. And I would not choose to steal from him. You down with a sidetrack? I can already work in almost every material, but not amber. Of course, buddy. Besides, who knows what we'll find. Maybe I'll even get an upgrade today. Ooh, the tunnel is alive, the tunnel is alive. Goes to show you, we're still in oblivion. Greetings, mortal! Uh Fellow mortal, mortal fellow. Was this what you wanted? How am I supposed to work with this? You can barely see the detail. It's so abstract. I hear abstract art is all the rage these days. You may have a point there. But critics these days, oh, they're vicious. Hmm. Let's see here. Well, it's a start. Thank you, Morta. I mean, valued customer. <laughs> now then, was there anything else? So, you gonna teach me about amber smithing? Certainly. Take this manual. It'll tell you everything you need to know. With pictures. Soon, you'll be a master sculptor. Like me! <laughs> well, in a thousand years, perhaps. Ta-ta! One more spot on the map we haven't explored. How about a classic here? Oh, they are blasting the shit out of him. I am glad I brought him along. Who's That's fucking teamwork. My stealth is so high that they seem like idiots. I'm pretty sure I'm nearly at 100 now. With the perk, they can make them forget about you if you just stealth for long enough. Oh, hey, that's what a Gromite is. They are like big goblins. Also, apparently not friends with the Elytras. This is Thank you. 
It's no wonder our enemies fear the sight of an orc warrior. Ooh, a bunch of them. Luckily, I learned and put on some magic resist gear. You know, some of the best gameplay from back in time has been me playing with the Sana and Circuit. He's not all powerful, like some followers, and I made it myself, and I can make him talk, so they can have banter. And then the early stuff when they were fighting against each other, but also kind of friends, you know, enemies with benefits, was a lot of fun to make. These guys take so little damage, it's so annoying. Malakath, watch over you. I don't know if that's supposed to be a big guy, but uh, he's dead now. What the heck is this door? Oh, that's cool. Huh, key of C sharp. I'm sure that's a joke I don't get. Now that's fucking teamwork. Good work, sir. Of course. Our combat roles are well paired. I'm tough and strong. I'm quick and can flank. Can do range and heal if needed. Well, you're a bard. I mean, yeah. Are you trying to define my class based on the Adventurer's Guide to Tamriel? Because you're a brute warrior. 100%. Hey, check out what I found. Wow, that's really cool. Unfortunately, it's nowhere near as good as the Nightingale Bow. It could definitely suit your fighting style, though. Each of those effects allows you to close distance to your enemy. Well, all right. Similar in power, too. Damn, you made out like a bandit today. <laughs> 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 all right, so that is it for Saints and Seducers Extended Cut. There's more I wanted to do with Back in Time, but I think I'm going to end it and make a finale episode. And after that, I'll pick back up in 204. With that little bit with Val Serrano, the college and the Bard's College expansion. I realize not many people watch these, but uh, I enjoy making them. So I'm going to keep making them. At least I get some comments that are like, I enjoy your storytelling and your character's chemistry. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. Hey, mind if I check out Nerve Shatter? Sure, what for? Looked fun to break something. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. More of these guys? Okay, one more thing for Val fans. See anything you like? That's quite the look you have going on. Of all the Daedric princes, we get the one with no sense of style. Your outfit is atrocious, and that suit Shio Gorath is wearing manages to clash with itself. My outfit? Have you checked yours? Yeah, I hate hats. This one is clammy and smells like cheese. At least I'm not stuck wearing a gaudy, cheap, posh, vomit suit that screams new money. Oh. You know what? Forget it. I got nothing. I'll just keep an eye on things here.